the 1928 Rolls Royce that was featured in the hit movie, The Great Gatsby, starring Robert Redford and Mia Farrow. Some really cool things about this car. This car was restored to be authentic uh, to represent the car written about by F. Scott Fitzgerald in The Great Gatsby. Um, as a matter of fact, it's interesting because th they could not have selected a better car for the movie with, than this car. This is the only car of its type. Th this car completely represents the, you know, slightly avant-garde, almost ostentatious nature of, of Gatsby. Um, it's, it, it's, um, it has elegance, it's sporty. Um, of the 28 Ascots, there was only one that has the, a unique body, being an Ascot dual cow, this one. Um, so it's, it's quite, it's, it's really important in and of itself, just, just with that body configuration. With regard to the color combination, the yellow paint and the green interior, um, in, in the book, uh, uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald talks about the additional uh, wind wings and the glass and the glaring of the chrome and such. So this car is spectacular in a very authentic recreation of the car portrayed in the book. So as most people know, Rolls-Royce were traditionally built in England. Well, there, there was a period of about 11 years where Rolls-Royce were also building cars in the U.S. because the U.S. was such a strong market, uh, they decided to open up a factory. They opened up a factory in Springfield, Massachusetts. So for that period of time, um, for the American market, most of the cars were, were actually manufactured in Massachusetts, not in England. Um, this particular car is, all, is one of those Springfield um, Rolls Royces. Part of the significance of this car is its provenance. Beyond the movie, this car is thoroughly documented from back when it was built uh, in, at the Rolls-Royce factory. So we have uh, most all of the ownership. We have, um, you know, uh, we've amassed a, a large number of records and photographs and such. Um, and all of this has been compiled and researched by one of the top automotive historians in the world. This car benefited by an investment of $1.2 million in its restoration. A restoration of that magnitude requires every single nut and bolt and screw to be removed and polished and returned to as new and then returned to its, its glory, really. So this car is, is just breathtaking in its beauty and, and the quality of the work uh, really is, is quite exceptional overall. Supporting the importance of the car and the quality of the restoration, this car received an invitation to the 2019 Pebble Beach Concord Yellow Guns, which is the, the epitome of um, automotive Concord events globally. One of the reasons these early Rolls Royces are, are so coveted by collectors is that they're there are cars that you can tour in, you can literally travel thousands of miles um, in these cars through mountains, deserts, what have you. They're, they're very dependable, very powerful. They're nothing, there's really nothing uh, like it. So looking at this car from a, from a, you know, a master Concord judge uh, viewpoint, um, it's, it's a very high point car. Um, it's off the charts in terms of, of design elegance. Uh, the car itself is, uh, you know, would score probably around 97, 98 points. Um, but the, the design bonus points make it so that it would, it would be in that 100 point range. This car would absolutely be welcome on any Concord field anywhere in the world.
The ideal buyer for this car is either somebody that has a magnificent automobile collection or somebody who really, again, is understanding of the importance of, of this, this car, that movie, the book, in representing the, this, the epitome of American wealth um, and, and vibrancy. The, the Roaring Twenties, th this car is perfect for that. There's, there's no question in my mind that this is one of the most important Rolls Royces in the world. And amongst, amongst automotive collectors, Rolls, there is only one Rolls Royce, and that's Rolls Royce.